Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm back with some General Baddington, the yellow player from Canada. We're going to be playing some classic Risk with true random dice. True random dice always cause mayhem, and it's nice to see it. So let's hop into the game, see what my spawn looks like. I have all of my troops in Europe, and I go last, so I get six troops on the first turn. GG. Congratulations to Kilted for winning this game. Uh, in epic fashion. Thank you guys for watching till the... No, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll play the game out. Red's God spawn for Australia, though. Oh. Dude, this is crazy. I have 4, 8, 14 troops in Europe, basically. Almost all of me except for this 5, which I can bring through. And I start with 6 troops on the first turn because I go in the 6th position. So we are playing Classic Fixed with Hard AI... True random dice. Alliances are on with no fog, no blizzards, no portals. We're not fishing for some funky blizzards today. We're playing with true random dice. Good old school risk. Just like you play at the board with your friends in real life. Where you got to roll every dice manually. That's what true random dice is. The defender could technically roll sixes over and over and over. And you could lose 20 dice in a roll. So it's fun to see true random rolls sometimes. Where somebody rolls a 15 stack, hits a 3, and then the 15 loses. Like, those moments are, are, are spicy and hilarious. So I'm trying to ally with Green. I hope he's not the kind of person that's going to add in Europe. Like, it's very clear that Europe is belonging to me. I don't know if he's skilled enough to see that. Our opponents, by the way, are Uno Schwinsteiger from France. We've got Sabu from United Kingdom. We've got Lavelle Carnivore from Spain. Nice, he's going to go down here. Does he hit the 8? If you try to move... Oh, no, you roll that out. Yes, love, love. That's me sending a heart because you didn't accept my alliance. Wait, what are you doing? Bring your two to North America. Whatever. This is all fine. Uh, we've got Tony Number 87109 from France. We've got Kami Cortez from United Kingdom. The funny thing is, the and then I'm rocking the Canadian flag. The funny thing was in the lobby when I was hosting, I had two France players and two United Kingdom players. And I'm like, this is going to be the French for the English. Who is the last person that's going to join and, like, outweigh the team? And then the final person to come in was Spain. <laughs> the classic for me, the Spanish player, always comes in and ramdingles me, so I need to be very cautious of the black player. For now, though, this is going to be my beautiful look at Europe. Look at this. Look at the beauty there, starting with a cavalry. <laughs> Let's go. Green didn't ally me. I would like to ally with who? Whom shall I ally with? Red? Una Schweinsteiger. Could I ally with pink? Hmm. I really want green to ally me and get out. Blue is going to fight for North America. I hope he hits the black three or the green twos before me. Kind of trapping green in North America with his two and his two. Oh, red's going to roll that up. Cool. Makes blue's life easier. I hope green rolls to get his card in North America. I just want that two out. I don't want to hit a two in true random. Pink's going to trap. What are you doing? Losing two, hitting a one. You see that in true random quite often. Are you stacking on me? I don't like that at all. Pink is Sabu from United Kingdom. Okay, I don't like you stacking on me. He may be just combining his troops, but I don't like them pointed at my Ukraine. How about an alliance? Maybe he's hearing me through the interwebs about how aggressive this is, and he does he, he feels like, wait, maybe I'm threatening yellow too much. Maybe yellow's gonna hit me. So I'll offer him an alliance. So Sabu might actually be a smart player for the psychological part of the game. He gives me a thumbs up. I'll give you a thumbs up. Interesting. Okay. Black loses a two and a one. Beautiful. What's green going to do now? I want green to get his two out of Iceland for me. I think my goal is to add three to Northern Europe and hit Scandinavia with it. I'm not going to take this bonus right away. Yeah, he's adding a North America to attack the red one down. Good. Now, if you fortify back in, I'm going to be mad at you. Oh! I slammed. I was so happy he fortified out. I slammed my elbow on the table. Oh, he's getting smoker dogged by him. All right. Dude, I'm... Blue, you need to let me through. 
I would like if you let me through, Blue. I don't want to hit more than one territory at a time. I'm, I'm trying to thumbs up blue. I'm trying to signal blue that I need to go here to get to here. I'm trying to signal him. And I already have a cavalry. So on this one, we're going. what am I going to do? Hold on. I'm going to make this a two and make a nine here. A double cavalry. Come on, bro. I want a big trade on three. Why don't I get the luck? I mean, I got the spawn, really. But I mean, I might get ramdingled for it, right? Nobody wants me to hold Europe. I'm going to hold it like Spider-Man with threes everywhere. Every, one, every three is a limb of mine that you can't get through. I guess Spider-Man's not an actual spider with a bunch of... Whatever. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Red's also left South America. He wants black and green to implode in there. Pink's getting out of the way in Asia. He's going to bring the four to the six. Yes. So he's got two stacks in Asia. He's going to combine those stacks next turn. Now, I can leave North America with my 5 and give it to Blue. Or Blue can maybe let my 5 come through. I'm hoping Blue sees what I was going for. Black and Green are probably going to collide stacks down here at some point. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, Black goes to North America, maybe? Daddy time? No, no, no daddy time. Okay. It's going to come down to who trades first, right? Black or Green? Because whoever trades first is probably ramming the other dude. Why does everything sound so overtly sexual on your channel? I don't... It's just the way I talk, man. Ramming dudes! PG-13. It's okay. We're cutting back a little bit on the old uh, swearing and stuff. Just a little bit. I think it's important to be authentic and true to yourself, but at the same time, you need to put on a good show and not make it about uh, the wrong things. Okay, so Green's going to go up to Peru. And he's going to sit stacking beside Black... This is so threatening, but they these guys are kind of trapped between blue and red. Like, this is a... It's like a gladiator dome in South America right now. Anything could happen and will happen. Attack my territory if you need to. Yes. Blue thieves. Yes. Thumbs up, thumbs up, and a heart. Yeah! Dude, if blue gets North America and I get Europe... Mmm! Spider-Man! Dude, I don't even watch Spider-Man. I don't watch Marvel movies or comic book stuff. Don't ask me why I'm saying Spider-Man. I don't know. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to take this. I'm going to do one manual roll. If it fails, I will wait till next turn. I'll bring this three... Wait, this three to here. I'm gonna go next turn. I I had I, it's it's I'm kilted, right? I lose dice when I roll one stacks. Well, it's true random though, so like, it's fine. I lost three troops that turn. I just I don't want to get smoked. Oh, and red just blitzes a two stack. No worries, loses nothing. True random dice can be so disgusting, and like so painful to somebody, and so gifting to somebody else at the same time. So, like, this is risk with the luck element crack, cracked, cranked to the max, and the skill element pulled back a little bit, right? If you got two levers, usually there's some luck and a dial, big dial down on skill. And now we're, like, pulling the skill back to half, and the luck's going, Bleh! like, it's breaking my wrist. It's going so deep inside, right? And that's what she said. Uh, I hope you're rolling down and on my two stack, you psycho. Oh, don't daddy time me, please. What is this? You're... No! Oh! Dude, nothing is scarier than the Spanish player trading on three and putting all of their troops in my bonus. <laughs> if you're wondering, some of you are like, it was obvious he was going to come out. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> Not to me. Uh, okay. Oh, no, green. You better run... Like, what's that song that got uh, repopularized again by Stranger Things? That running up that hill or whatever? That's what Green's got to do. This is that uh, that dude that lived in the other dimension. What was his name? I forget. Okay, please, please let me... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to get your North America yet. 
You and I need to trade first. We are the best of friends. We are the best of friends. Now I hit this and I leave. Okay. And now I put this on my 10. Pink is literally stacking in my face. Oh, the dice gods, the card gods, the... So it's not a dude trade, but... And I can't get the no trade on 4 into Kilted Classic dude trade on 5. I will at least get a 6 trade. He lost 4 on the 2. I hope you run all the way so... Oh my god, what the hell? That's the full ram dingle on pink. You can't even kill him, dude. Can I kill pink if he doesn't trade on 4? What are you doing? You're a nut job. Th that's what I mean. It's the French... Against the English. I told you. I told you we had a 2v2 going on. I'm not saying they're cheating, but the French versus the English? They hate each other, man. My mom was born in Britain, and there's French and Cana there's French Canadians. She's experienced. Anytime she's gone to the border trying to cross the border or come back into Canada, anytime there's a French agent working on the border or TSA, or not TSA, but like the airport scan-ins or security, if, if she shows her British citizenship or British passport, even though like... She was born there. She's got Canadian citizenship and passport too. But if they, they catch a whiff of her being English, they hate her. Her whole life. For like last, I don't know, 30, 40 years she's been telling me. It's crazy. Like the French and the English. I don't know what it is because obviously I'm stupid and I don't know anything about history. But something is there. Oh my god. Pink did trade though. So I couldn't... I If Pink didn't have a trade, that would have been a sexy ram dingle for five cards. I don't get it though. Occasionally you will hear me cut off in a word where like I I say a word and it like cuts off the end of that word It's because I hit my mute button on the mic to clear my throat So it's not that my mic's having issues. It's just I hit the mute button a little early before the word finishes and uh, In time for my throat clear just to save your ears Although on my main channel, I started editing those out as well. So they're not as much of a problem Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man Green doesn't have a trade? Dude, what if black... No, um, what is blue going to... Blue's going to take North America. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. I'm going to not trade because I don't have a trade. Being last is great for the early game because you get six troops on the first turn. You get to combine your stuff into a position. The biggest problem with my current situation is I am last means uh, I'm the last person to trade. And if you don't get a trade on four and you're the last position, you are literally every single person gets to trade before you and have an opportunity to kill you if you've been poor at managing your troop totals. Fortunately, I have 30 troops. I'm not that bad off. Pink's looking at my face right now. I am going to take this. And I'm going to bring one of these twos out. 14. No... No trade on four into the cavalry trade on five. I do get a plus two on Greenland or Northern Europe. I would prefer Northern Europe, I guess, because I'm not. I'm going to lose Greenland to blue, right? And I'll give blue the thumbs up. Blue also didn't trade on four. He's on 32 troops. I'm on 30. We've managed to stay strong, right? Black's on 32, but he's already traded. Red's on 33, but he's already traded. And he's been holding Australia, so he's expended a lot of troops, which I guess he did. He smacked the crap out of pink, right? He's still smacking the crap out of pink. Like, if you're pink at this point, depending on how you feel, you might want to go Ram Dingle Red. Although staying here is good. Yeah, he's going to Suicide Red. Yep. Full Suicide's Red. Yeah, and I saw that coming, right? Red gave you no option, and you're like, you know what? I'm punishing you on my way out. So I understand that, and I respect that. Now, I'm in a great position to kill pink and kill red for the yeah, red bots. So pink and red both have three cards and under 10 troops. Both very worth killing, although it's true random dice. I kind of don't want to kill red, because then I'll have Europe and Australia, and that'll feel threatening. I want to kill pink for his three. Let someone else get red. Maybe black does... Or black could do a reach around through North America and then take red out and pink. Black could have done a reach around... Kill, double killed red and pink, uh, got two trades out of it, and been the Australian player, and then he'd be out of this mess with green. Instead, he doesn't. Green's gonna go for the kills? He should. Green's also got the option. Yes. 
Green's going to kill pink, trade, and then take Australia. Now, if he doesn't kill red, blue's going to get red's cards for free. This might be a lot to track all, all quickly, but... If you're green, you probably want to also kill red if you're going to take Australia. He could alternatively take Africa, but I think then he'll be butting heads with black. We'll see. We're going to have a stable four-player endgame, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. If he's going Africa, then maybe not. Right? If green kills red and takes Australia, then black would take South America and... At what? I am English, but I was born in Canada. Come on, bro. He breaks my Europe, huh? I have a trade, doggy. I hope you lose and don't get your kill on red. Offer an alliance to the Spanish player. Yeah, he wants me to hit green. Oh, I hope you run out of time, dog. He's going to leave the... I actually hope he doesn't run out of time. If he leaves that six there, that hurts me, man. Okay, he got the kill. So he will have time to fortify the six out. But he's probably going to leave the eleven. That was so douchey. Of all the things to do, and he hits my three stack with a six and loses zero. If I hit a three stack with a six, you know it's... I'm not getting that lucky. What, are you going to take Africa too? I hate you, bro. I hate you. Congo does not belong to you. Get out of here. Go away. Yeah, Pink's like, what? He's going to run out of time. Oh... Yeah, I'm, I'm telling Blue to attack green and a thumbs up. If he just takes North America and chills, then what am I going to do? I'm going to chill? This is bad. Green got so much there. That was gifted to him, right? Black. It was also gifted to black, right? Because pink suicided red. Whoever's next in the turn order gets to claim all of that. Oh, if he adds here, he might actually be ramdingling him. Blue is my ally. Did he get pissed that green broke me and he's also going to go break him back for me? Dude, this is my ally, Cami Cortez, bro. That's right. I'm on Team Great Britain now. <laughs> I'm on Team Great Britain. You better believe it. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm on Team Great Britain. Okay. So we're going off Northern Europe. I'm going to try this six. I'm going to hit it. Oh, good enough dice. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I'm going to make this a 17 and leave threes again. Hopefully he gets crushed on the threes. I have a trade on three. Second biggest trade. With a plus two on Ukraine. Great for me. I can't re-offer him an alliance. Will he also hit green? Because if we can get him to hit green in the seven, that would be amazing. Green would break me, maybe. Please? Please hit the seven. Ah, oh, like, I understand why he didn't, but I really wanted him to. Of course I wanted him to. If he gets terrible dice roll and it loses 15, though, and he's on four cards, he's hurting. Green's going to seven on three me again. Three on one Madagascar gets it. So what do I do? I knock black out of Asia? Dude, green's so greedy. Is he going to take Asia? Like, you're, you're setting yourself up to get hit by everybody. He's going to hit me again. No, he doesn't. Oh, and he backs off so black can come out. Okay. I get to hold with a trade with a plus two. And blue's going to just smoke the five. Oh, I love you. I love you, blue. Yes. You guys ever seen that movie with uh, Will Ferrell and, uh, was it Owen Wilson? You're my boy, blue. You're my boy. So good. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so what I should have done here was actually probably break green. Because uh, blue's showing me such good faith. Breaking green here would have been good. I don't think black's going to do it. Yes, he, maybe he does. Three on one loses, please. He <laughs> doesn't even try. Yeah. Beautiful. Sit there. <laughs> green got too greedy, bro. You got too greedy. And now what? He's got a 32 of me to hit, a 32 of blue he can hit, and he doesn't have access to the 31 of black. Green's now going to get choked out. 
being the Australian turtle that's mad at everybody. He's going to trade? If he trades, that's a big stack, though. What's he do? I hope he doesn't hit me. It's the end game scenario where I always get targeted for some random reason and that I don't understand why. No, nope, he moves his 23 up. Interesting. So I'm going to take a card in Middle East, maybe? Actually, maybe not. I want to keep access this way. What's blue going to do? This is going to be an interesting four-player game, right? Green probably gets four. But if he suicides somebody and he's strong enough, then what happens? I go immediately after blue. I don't go after green. So if blue kills green, it gives me an opportunity. I'm losing two troops hitting a one. I love it. I love it a lot. I don't really need my three uh, double dudes. Okay, here we go. I needed the dudes earlier. Now they're coming for me. I just, I, I'm... Black is the Spanish player. Oh, dude, you want Australia? I was going to say, if that went in Australia, oh, baby, would that have been the best thing ever. Because if green trades and suicides black, now he's open to black. He wasn't open to black before. And hitting Middle East is what opened him to black. So maybe I should have actually hit Middle East. But now black opened him himself. So if he gets destroyed because of it, it's his own fault. Green's going to trade too. Five plus a trade. He could have up to a 38 stack right there. And if he does, he's probably going to go through my three and break Europe. Uh, yeah, he's going through. He's going to break Europe right now. I'm already seeing it. He's going to go bing, bing. He's going to go to Egypt, then he's going to break Europe, and then he might go all the way to blue in Greenland, but he might stop in Europe. It's it, This is the easiest read of my life. Green's pissed. Yep. Egypt, then he breaks my Europe. Yep, and he maybe goes to Greenland. He does. Okay. I hope you got smoked on my two snack. Minus 12. Okay, perfect dice, of course. Noob's doing stuff like that. Now stay there. Oh, he's going to go break black in South America. I didn't read that far ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, run at a time. He lost three on that one. Now run at a time. Don't go back. He's going to go back. No, he's... Oh, he's doubling down. Run out of time. He ran out of time, baby. Oh, daddy time. Oh, my God, yeah. Give Blue the thumbs up. Like, you want to go... Blue's got 20 troops on me. If Blue wanted to find a way to break this, I would love it. Just come out with your 49 and then fortify back into North America. One, two, three. He, does, he won't break it. He won't... He's. It's true random dice. You don't get in there. True random dice is disgusting. Right. Everybody else is true random dice. is wonderful. Okay, okay, okay. I retake my Europe. Green gets three troops on his turn. If he doesn't have a trade, I can hold Europe with a bunch of three stacks. The 49 is coming back the other way. I like it. Okay. Lose two on a one. We're going to maintain this beautiful position of pain. Yep, lose one on a one. Okay, and then I'm going to come back here. Leave my wall of... The dudes! Send dudes, baby! Black gets ten. He could go right through North America and destroy green. He could also take Australia. Like, I'm way behind blue and black right now. And you know why? Because I haven't been able to hold Europe. And I've gotten terrible trade after terrible trade. And then green smacked my three stack. And then he smacked a three, one, one, two. And I'm just getting dice smacked on every single one I roll. True random dice actually always destroys me. It makes my game so unbelievably tough. And, like, everybody's going to say, I get the worst luck. And, and, <laughs> but I really, really feel like I do. <laughs> All right. Four troops for green, actually, because he holds 12 territory. That's a little bit more annoying. He could five on three break. Okay, he's got to trade anyways. Does he take South America off the 18? He could full stack the 18, or he could go back and take Australia. Okay. There's a chance black gets smoked right here. Which is, like, a little bit bad because... Oh, no. He does it. Okay. He's going to break me, too. Because why not? 
I hate you, bro. So blue could win right now, almost. If, if these guys don't have cards, right? So he can't. But like, if this was a balanced blitz game and we all had three cards, blue would win right now. Okay. He's gonna go. He's gonna. He's gonna take his North America. He leaves the four in here too, dude. I hate you, Green. I hate you so much. <laughs> I would like Blue to put some troops in Alaska or Kamchatka to guard from green backdooring him. At least so his stack's not fully active, right? Split. He really only needs to put, like, five here. Oh, he puts all of them there. And leaves five. That's great. This is not active. It's really good for me. Uh, do I trade the dudes or do I roll the six on four? I'm just going to trade the dudes. Good dice. Let's do that. I can leave a three there, because black is going to retake and knock him out of here. I get 30 here. I got to get ready. Uh, well, cavalry did show up, but too late. Yeah, so black's going to retake all that and then go back to Egypt. So if, if black full stack, I would hope black attacks the green one here in Middle East, and then he can full stack on the green one, and then green can't get into us again. But instead, he's going to have some weird split stack here, which is less efficient. At least we've maintained keeping blue stack blocked. Unless green rolls left out of here, then it opens blue. Black's laughing. Blue's going to bot. if Or green's going to bot. If green bots, it'll probably four on two roll in here. Yeah, he's dabbing on him. Spanish player's loving it. I've managed... I'm at 44 troops, though. I am... I mean, blue's got North America plus a trade. He's so strong. So I need a good relationship with black. After green dies, it's going to have to be me and black against blue. And there you have it. <laughs> green has quit the game. What a shocking surprise that we were not prepared for. Oh, no. Okie doke. So green bot will take Australia in a moment. Fortunately, blue stack is trapped. So he can't. Like, blue could double kill us, basically, if this deck was active. If he left the 45 here and green botted, he comes through and kills black, trades, and then yeah. rams me so hard that I can't do anything about it, and I've got one card. As long as true random dice don't screw him, I he wins the game there. Like, in balanced blitz, that's pretty much a 100% win. In true random, anything can happen. But, like, that would have been the play. So it's, we're very fortunate that he doesn't have it here. And that's also why I traded my dude cards just in case some crazy stuff started kicking off, right? Like if green added here and opened him, then blue could still make a similar play. He's going to actually just try to take that, eh? No, he's guarding the green kill. Interesting. Hmm. We need to hit blue. I got a wild card. Okay. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Like, me and black need to work on blue now together or we're in trouble. He's not going to. This is okay, though. We don't need to do it immediately, but we will hang off to. Green, blue's 45 trapped. That's okay. No, stay, stay, stay. Yeah, yeah, come out. No, to the 15, dude. Yeah, okay, good. Well played. So both of our stacks are active this way. The problem is if I go into blue and then black does nothing, blue ram dingles me, and then black has a chance to win because blue maybe overcommits on the hit on me. Although blue's been very smart. Blue's also been a very good ally to me, right? Green bot adds in here and doesn't take a card. I mean, it's getting less and less worth killing, so if blue kills it, that's good for us. Maybe he kills it now. Got so many troops, dude. If he starts adding Greenland and Ice and uh, Central America, you know we're going to feel it. Okay. He's got no stacks pointed at me. He doesn't get to trade. 
He does all of that for the one card. That's good. Now he's going to be quite a bit ahead of me still. Hmm. He's got that in Black's face. Attack my territory if you need to. No, no, no. Attack blue. Okay, Black, help me. I, I mean, I have to try. If I want first, I have to. I have to work with Black. Me and Spain. What could possibly go wrong? Yep, and his forty-five is trapped. He's he card skips. Okay, okay. Me and Spain. What could possibly go wrong? He card skips, backs completely off, lets blue open to me. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. I got you, bro. I'll kill black right now. Yep. Yep, 100%. No. I'm not standing for that. Like, okay, nice move. If blue, but blue stack's not open. If blue stack was open to me right now and you did that, blue could kill me and maybe overcommit. Okay. No, no dice. Just trying to get a better roll on him. I don't think so. I don't stand for you, Black. I don't stand for you. I don't stand for you. <laughs> I do not be ashamed of ever taking second place. I tried for first, and Black showed me he would not work with me, and Blue would. So I have no problem with Blue getting first. He was a great ally. We played a great game together. That's it. And not only that, I backstabbed Blue here. And then Black did nothing. Blue didn't immediately go in on me. He gave me one turn to exact my revenge on Black. Very smart. Blue didn't fall for Black's bait, right? Because Black and I are a thumbs up. Let's kill this guy together. I make the move first because I'm supposed to because of turn order. And then he didn't follow it up. If Blue was ready and he full ram dingled me, Black has a chance to win in there. But if Blue doesn't fall for the bait, or his stack is trapped, or both, then all of a sudden, Blue gives me that opportunity to be like, no, okay, Black backstab me. I cannot win. I cannot go first and second with Black. He won't work with me. He's just trying to sucker dog me, right? He's going to sucker dog me in the back door? Rock rocking a Spanish flag, you're going to sucker dog me in the back door? I don't think so, bro. So, what I do is, now I win true random... I win because it's true random. 14 on 52. Oh, I killed 24, doggy. No. <laughs> right? Like, that's kind of how it works, right? If you're in a three-player end game with alliances, uh, two people need to team on the other person. Whoever is immediately after the person you're teaming on goes first, and then the other person can follow up before they retaliate. But if they don't follow up and you went first... Sometimes the person you're teaming on, or supposed to team on, will just completely suicide you, and then the person that sat back wins, right? So Black's Black's uh, play wasn't terrible, although Blue Stack was trapped, so he couldn't kill me. So Black backstabbing me got him third. Where if Black worked with me, we could have went first and second, right? And we would have had a very epic endgame. Although that was still a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True random dice, doing some stuff. Green being quite a pain in my butt. Our uh, opponent's triple beginner. Red was an intermediate and blue was an expert. That makes perfect sense. UK versus France and me versus Spain. What could be better than that? Thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and watch this one right here.